Michael Rowe has always had a contentious history with the Melty Blood series. First introduced as a playable character in Actress Again, he was initially very low tier, but was quickly buffed into overpowered status in current code. Ten years later, and Roa is at the top of the tier list yet again, with EVO 2023 Grand Finals having not one Roa, but two Roas in Grand Finals. So then, the question needs to be asked, why is Roa so strong, and why is he considered one of, if not the best characters in Melty Blood type Illumina? Let's find out on today's episode of Melty Balance. In previous versions of Melty Blood, each character had three variations with their own unique attacks and playstyles. So when translating a character to Lumina, careful consideration had to be made, especially for Roa due to just how powerful his Crescent variation was. Instead of trying to make a balanced version of Crescent Moon Roa, Frenchbred opted to use his Half Moon moveset as a base with some tools from his other movesets sprinkled here and there. Starting off with the basics, Roa's movement is pretty good. He's got a fast forward dash, a fantastic back dash for defense, and his air dash goes deceptively far. In the normals department, Roa has a plethora of normals at his disposal that he can use in a variety of situations. They've got decent to good range, they allow him to do effective reverse beat pressure. His 2B and C buttons move him forward, letting him stick close to the opponent during block strings. And that's not even counting his multi-hit command normals that can be mixed in to make his pressure and frame trap game even more oppressive. When Roa forces you to block, you'll be there for a while. For example, take this clip from EVO 2023 Losers Finals. Nine seconds might not seem like a lot, but that block string would have definitely gone on for longer considering that Aroa has almost two meters there to extend pressure, and the only reason CL got hit was because she tried to risk it with shield and got whiff punished. I'd also like to mention his Air 3C, a normal added in patch 1.3 that strengthened Roa's air confirms and has become a core part of combos and conversions. I don't think it's controversial to say that this is one of the best moves added post-launch to a character. Throw is a tool you wouldn't immediately think of when asked what do you think makes a character strong. But without any overheads or unblockable attacks, Roa relies on throws as a central pillar of his game plan. Off of throw, he can cover every reversal option go for a meaty 2A or opt for an ambiguous left-right setup, making Roa's throw game incredibly strong and scary. Thunderclap is where the madness begins. It's a forward-moving special that is mostly combo filler. It can be used for side switches on block or hit and can occasionally be used as a movement tool as well. But where this move really shines is in its EX version. Roa takes a page out of CL's book and does a full screen multi-hitting, slashing attack. EX Thunderclap is a great anti-zoning tool and a fantastic combo ender that can be slotted into almost any combo in which Roa can get Okizeme off of. And did I mention it's invincible? That isn't that big of a deal as it sounds, EX Thunderclap isn't instant, it has a slight delay, and will lose to Medes and Moon Drive, but because of the slight delay, Roa can counter Moon Drive and keep himself safe. 
EX Thunderclap is a real threat to zoners without any moon gauge and gives him some amazingly easy Oki. Roa also has an invincible reversal, which is always a luxury. It can also lead to ambiguous mix-ups if comboed into, which is a nice bonus. However, these moves pale in comparison to what is not only his best special move, but one of the best special moves in type Lumina, period. I'm of course talking about the one, the only. <laughs> Timeless Thunder Needle is an absolutely bonkers projectile. It does literally everything. Neutral control? Yep. Essential combo tool? You bet. Unblockable setups? Of course. The easiest pressure starter ever? 100%. Roa wants to win neutral and get you to block so he can run his admittedly basic strike throw stagger game. This is where Timeless Thunder Needle comes in clutch, because it is an amazing neutral tool, covering the air and skies at a great angle. The EX version can be slotted into any block string or special to extend pressure for as long as Roa has meter. Thunder Needle aids and abides Roa like Bonnie to Clyde. Even though he has a basic game plan, Thunder Needle helps him enforce it and can lead to the opponent having to block a lot. And that's where he becomes deadly because, yeah, it's basic, but if you have to block three mix-ups in a row, the odds are not in your favor. And you have to remember, he's trying to set up prime real estate in your head. So even if you do block, you have to stay on your toes for the mind games. Timeless Thunder Needle allows Roa to be extremely consistent thanks to the move's flexibility, fitting any and all facets of his game plan. The Moon Skill version of Timeless Thunder Needle is a completely different beast, being his old Crescent Style EX214C from Actress Again. It was an absolute monster in that game, covering a large amount of space, being plus on block and EX shield, while also being air unblockable. Fortunately, in Lumina, it's not plus. You can block it in the air, and if shielded, you get a free punish. However, don't count this one out just yet, because it retains its great space control and is a fantastic combo starter anywhere on screen. If you react fast enough, you can whiff a thunderclap and then whiff cancel into EX Timeless Thunder Needle for a combo, or if it fatal counters, which is even better, Roa can run up and convert into some high damage. With all of these tools, Roa is a force to be reckoned with. He can dominate the ground game with Timeless Thunder Needle. His combos crank up the damage with the use of Thunderclap, Jump 3C, and EX Timeless Thunder Needle. His best buttons push him forward and hit multiple times, leading to insanely long pressure. His throw game can cover every option, allowing him to be able to call out any response with the right read. He's got a plethora of Okizeme options off of his best moves that will always keep the opponent on their toes, and most importantly, all of his tools synergize so well with each other. While characters like Arcuade and Aoko might have a lot more options compared to Roa's honest mids, Roa makes up for it in consistency. He can always get himself into some kind of favorable situation and then enforce his game plan. Even if Roa is put on his back foot, he's got solid defensive options in backdash and DP to back him up on top of the universal system mechanics. I don't think it's up for debate when I say that Roa is the best character in the game right now. I do expect nerfs to come with the next balance patch because in the last patch, which had all buffs, Roa got an increase to his voice volume. I feel like the writing's on the wall with that one. Personally, I think Roa is fun to play, and if you play a really good Roa, it's an experience, to say the least. Anyway, that was Roa, the best character in Melty Blood type Lumina, at least for now. Who would you like me to cover next, weak or strong? Please let me know in the comments. 
But until that time comes, have a great day and bye for now.